Shares of Yelp ending the day in the green, up about five and a half, almost six percent after activist investor TCS Capital Management disclosed a stake in the company and is suggesting a sale exploration to Angie. In response to the letter, Yelp says, quote, they maintain an active dialogue with shareholders and values constructive feedback on their business and ways to create value. We reached out to Angie for a comment, but haven't heard back as well. So joining us now is Eric Semler from TCS Capital Management. Eric, uh, you've, been a, you've been a shareholder for a number of years now. Uh, why? Why now? Well, should have done it a lot sooner, but um, the stock is down um, sharply over the last five years. It's down over 100 percent versus the market. It's down 200. It's down 200 percent over 10 years. And so it's been very frustrating to be an outside shareholder watching management enrich themselves. They've paid themselves over $40 million. The CEOs paid himself over $40 million over the last five years and sold over $80 million of stock. So he's doing well, but the rest of us are really suffering. And it's sad because Yelp is really, um, Yelp is really a terrific story. It's a misunderstood stock. They have a long history of missing numbers and taking exorbitant compensation packages. So a lot of investors, a lot of, most of the market has just given up on Yelp. Even the sell side has given up on Yelp. There's um, three holes and six, uh, six, three cells and six holes on the stock. There were only two analysts on their last call. So it's it's basically in the penalty box. And I'm I'm really you know I'm here to really try to unlock value. Uh, when, you know, nobody else is really paying attention. The company itself has a, a, a wonderful business in home services. Most people think mm -hmm. of Yelp as a restaurant, you know, recommendation site, but it's actually growing revenues, mid-teens, has a, a, you know, terrific balance sheet, 300 million of net cash, and um, is just, you know, trading at probably one of the lowest valuations in the stock market. So we just read that statement from Yelp. Has has the C-suite actually and the board actually engaged with you? Are you are you actually now in dialogue and having constructive conversations about this or not yet? No, they haven't reached out to me. Um, I I don't really um, I, I don't think that's critical. I think the issue is that the board itself, which has really been a rubber stamp board for the CEO who's been there for 20 years, and a lot of the board members have been there a long time. There are some new members on the board who have just joined in the last few years in response to um, a mandate from a settlement, an insider trading settlement that involved the company on the civil side where they had to reform their corporate governance. And I'm really hoping that the, that the new board members will push the, the board, in the boardroom for the company to do the right thing, which is really to um, explore strategic alternatives. I think there's a lot of interest from strategic buyers, certainly from private equity, and uh, there's a potential uh, deal that could, a tax-free deal between Yelp and Angie's List that could be very beneficial to both Angie's List shareholders and Yelp shareholders. Eric, is Yelp, and maybe even Yelp and Angie together, just too small? And I ask that because one might argue that, um, you know, Google, uh, which Yelp has been, you know, Jeremy has been very vocal about over the last decade, uh, kind of crushed a lot of local possibilities. Of course, Booking has OpenTable. That's a $100 billion company that has at least the restaurant reviews and connection part is just one small piece. of. The Does Yelp perhaps need something even bigger than Angie to combine with if it's going to compete? You know, uh, that's a great question. I think it's competing really well, John. It's it's really comes up tops on home services, you know, um, searches. It's it's growing revenue, fifteen percent. It has seventy five million users, two hundred and seventy million reviews. Has a great opportunity to benefit from AI. Um, combining with Angie's List would be huge. It's because it's a it's a five hundred billion dollar market, the home services market. And I guess again, nobody really understands it. Yelp's biggest business and their fastest growing business, 25% growth, is home services, not restaurants. And, and by combining with Angie, where they're the two best brands in the marketplace. I think the company could generate 600 million of, of EBITDA with synergies and you know double the value of, of Yelp shares. So I think it's it's a huge market, home services, 500 billion, and they would they would have a, a fantastic position if they were to combine.